Hi everyone and welcome to the Creative Living Room on YouTube. Make sure if you would like to try today's activity that you have your parents permission and only do what you can. My name is Ms. Catherine and I am a Creative Living Room teaching artist. The project I'm going to do today is brought to you by the Creative Living Room, a nonprofit arts education organization in Swarthmore, PA, and it's based off of our summer camp programs and curriculum. I am very excited to share some of the things that we like to do during camp. This video is also supported by donations, so if you would like, please consider clicking on the donation link in the comments to give what you can. We would also love to have you subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell to receive notifications about future videos, and I hope you'll give me a thumbs up if you had fun today. you caught me reading the Marauder's Math. Better put that away. Thanks for joining me this week. I am super excited to see you guys because this week we are going to be making a project from my favorite week of camp and that's our Halls of Hogwarts week. Um, when you join us for this week of camp you get to spend the entire week as a witch and or wizard in training um, and you have professors that help you throughout the process. We have Quidditch games, Defense Against the Dark Arts classes, you learn how to duel, you learn how to make mysterious potions, the bubble and fizz, um, you get to do homework but only if you desire. Um, you receive messages from owls, hopefully not a howler, and you get to eat in our great hall. We have great professors that work with you all throughout the week as you try to earn points um, for your house and win the house cup, and we go on lots of wonderful adventures as well. So I hope that you can join us this summer, but in the meantime, I wanted to share with you one of our most important projects that takes place during the week, and that is our wand making project. So let's get started. Before we actually get started, I'm going to go over the supplies that you need for this project. So the first thing is a wooden dowel. Um, I got these in a pack of 12 for about $5 at my local Walmart. Um, so these work really well and they're usually pretty easy to find in the craft section, but if you can't make it out, um, chopsticks also work really well or you can even use a pencil. The next thing you're going to need is hot glue. I'm using a smaller size hot glue gun. They have them in bigger sizes as well. It doesn't matter which you use. Um, we're using the hot glue to add a little bit of texture to our dowel, make the wood look a little bit more authentic, and we're also going to be adding a handle as well. Um, the next thing you're going to need is paint, and you can use any color you want, but temper paint or acrylic paint work the best. Just make sure if you're using acrylic paint, it's not as easily washable as temper paint, which washes right out of clothes and things like that, so um, just make sure you're wearing a smock or something. Alright, the next thing we're going to work on adding are some feathers so we can start getting decorative. Um, I have black feathers and white feathers and I also have a combination which looks kind of like owl feathers um, and these are just to represent um, the core of your wand so if you wanted to have a phoenix feather wand for example um, or you could go an entirely different route and add some ribbons so this would represent the unicorn hair um, or any or mermaid hair any other kind of core that you would want in your wand and there's a couple different ways you could use this you could tie it off on the end you could wrap it around you can get really creative with it so if you don't have feathers you can use ribbons which might you might have more easily at home um, or you could even use string there's tons of different options all right the last thing I'm going to show you guys is my favorite um, we're going to add some jewels so as you can see here I've got a nice collection of jewels right here <laughs> Um, and the reason we're adding jewels is because it just adds some sparkle and shine to your wand, makes it a little more magical. If you don't want to use jewels or you don't have any around, beads work really well um, also, or you can just add some glitter on top to make your wand nice and sparkly. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my wooden dowel and my hot glue, and I'm going to go ahead and cover the dowel with about two inches of hot glue and I'm going to start by just moving my glue gun back and forth while I'm rotating and I'm going to do a nice even cover of hot glue on all sides of the dowel. Alright and once that's done you can see that I've got a nice thick edge on this side so I can actually hold the wand and then this end over here will be where the spells and things come out. 
Alright, so what I'm doing now is actually just adding a little bit of hot glue to the top of the wand. And I'm starting at the top and just doing some kind of little squiggles down to the bottom where I have my handle already. And the reason I'm doing that is just so that the wand isn't one smooth um, piece of wood because that's not really what a real wand would look like. It just makes it a little more bumpy as you're going down and it looks really cool when the whole wand is painted. So now you can see I've moved on to painting and what I'm doing here first actually is using a brown watercolor paint to start and all I'm doing is putting that on the wood part of the wand so far so that when I go over top again with a darker paint on top of the hot glue I have more than one color and it'll just add a little more texture and variety to the wand and make it look like it has more of um, wood grain. So there it is all colored in and now I'm actually going to take um, my darker paint. This is where you want to get your temper paint or your acrylic paint and this is the paint that's going to cover up the hot glue. So as I'm spreading it on top of the hot glue it'll make it look more like little wooden bumps and variations in your wood and some of it may get on your um, watercolor coat on the under part of your dowel as well but that's okay. It's just trying to make the whole thing look a little more textured and interesting and multicolored so it's more realistic. And there you have it. So now that we have everything painted, we're going to go ahead and start decorating. And for this wand, I'm adding feathers to the tip of the wand. Um, if you don't want to use feathers or you don't have feathers, don't worry, I'll show how to add ribbons in just a little bit. But to add our feathers, we're just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the tip of the wand and carefully place the feather on top. Just be careful not to burn your fingers. You can always use a pencil if you want to press the feather into place. And for this wand, I'm doing two black feathers and a white one on top and just kind of layering them to make it look a little more interesting. And there's my feathers. All right, so now that I have my feathers on my wand, I'm going to do my favorite part, which is adding jewels. And this is really great because you can be so creative with the colors and the shapes that you choose, and you can really put them anywhere, even on the feathers. But for today, I decided to do three diamond jewels on the body of my wand, just by adding a little dab of hot glue. And again, it's really great because it dries really quickly. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the green jewel on the handle of my wand. And there's my finished wand. All right, so as promised, I'm gonna show you guys how to add ribbon to your wand if you don't wanna use feathers. So I actually painted another dowel and made a second wand in a slightly different color. This is a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna go ahead and add ribbon by putting a little bit of hot glue at the tip of the wand and then just carefully secure my ribbon in place at the top, being careful not to burn myself. Um, but make sure it's in there nice and secure. Then I'm gonna do something cool here and I'm gonna actually just rotate the wand in my fingers and as I'm turning it, I'm gonna let the ribbon wrap itself around the wand from the top to the bottom. And then once I get to the end, I'm gonna go ahead and just secure that with a little bit of hot glue, wrap it around so it's in place and cut off any extra ribbon. And now I have a ribbon wrapped around the wand, which looks pretty cool. Um, and then to finish this wand, I'm gonna put a little jewel at the top and just again, being really careful not to burn myself as I put the um, tool on top. And then this wand is just a little bit of a different look. Um, nice and simple, but still really pretty. So I have one more wand to show you guys today. Again, I've um, painted this one a different color. This one's a little bit darker, which I think looks really nice. Um, and for this one, I'm gonna just do the ribbons a different way again. So I'm gonna start by placing a blue ribbon at the tip of the wand. And I'm actually gonna do two blue ribbons and I'm gonna finish it up with a pink ribbon. And just make sure those are all in place. I'm gonna cut off anything extra. And I really like how the ribbons look coming out of the tip of this wand. It kind of looks like magic coming out. Um, and then for the jewels on this wand, I'm just adding a green and yellow jewel pattern. And I'm only doing this on the handle this time, but I'm doing a couple different layers and wrapping it around the whole handle of the wand to make it look a little more three-dimensional. And I really like how this wand turned out. So these are the three wands that I made. They're all very different. Um, they're different shades. They've got different things going on, but they're all really cool. And I look forward to seeing what wands you guys made as well. I hope 
you guys had fun today working on this magical project with me. I know that I did, and now I've got all these extra magic wands around the house, which is awesome. Uh, remember that when you're working on this project, you can always substitute supplies that I'm using. So you can use string, beads, even markers. Remember, the point is to have fun and be creative. Your magic wand is supposed to represent your personality, so make it your own and have fun. Uh, before I leave you guys today, I have another challenge for you. If you completed this activity and made a magic wand, I would love to see it. So you can either take a picture of yourself with your wand or just take a picture of your wand and post it to our Facebook page or send it to our email address. I'm super excited to see you guys next time. Um, goodbye for now.